all right so what's up guys um we have another devil may cry video here for you guys and this time we're going to be talking about whether or not the soundtrack is good or bad because um i i know this is not really something massive to talk about a devil may cry soundtrack but it's just like i've seen people mention it here and there enough to i guess to the point where it's just like now i kind of want to put in my two cents when it comes to the soundtrack and a lot of people are completely just writing off the soundtrack, the whole soundtrack. Not just the Devil Trigger song, but just the whole soundtrack. People are losing faith because they feel like, okay, this Devil Trigger song, it isn't what we're used to in a traditional Devil May Cry game. Um, for Devil May Cry, we're always used to, um, like a, like either it's, either it's rock, either it's heavy metal, like, you know, those are the type of songs that we've come across, or those are the type of, you know, music that we come accustomed to when it comes to Devil May Cry. And this song, it, it, it kind of have more of that alternative, like, um, pop feel. And honestly, I don't think that's a bad, I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think that's a bad thing, but a lot of people are just like, no, we want our gritty, we want our, like, we want our rock, heavy rock music. Like, that's what we come to expect when it comes to Devil May Cry. We don't want something like this. But my thing is, though, is just like, guys, this is one song. This is one song. Um, I don't know how much they're going to use Casey Edwards in the whole game soundtrack. Um, I would expect them to use him pretty much for a couple of more songs. Like, I see no reason why not. Like, um, if I'm going to compare this game to any of the previous Devil May Cry, um, Capcom do usually have like a central, um, well, not one person or one composer, but you do see a Certain composers do have multiple entries into the game, like um, Combi Christ in the reboot. Combi Christ had like so many different entries, like Throat Filled with Glass was dope. I really like Throat Filled with Glass, but like they also had multiple other entries into the game as well. I think most of the soundtrack composed of their music or whatever. So it was just like overall, like I don't know. Like I think the soundtrack is all right. I think the song is all right. Let's not let me not say soundtrack. I think the song is fine. Like there's nothing wrong with the song. I enjoy it, I like it. While in battle, I'll probably not notice it after the third or fourth time I've played the game, but it is something that, it, it gives you good background music, and I feel like that's the most important thing. Like, this thing gives you good background music as you're going through the game, and it's, it's good, it's poppy, it gets you into the fight, it gets you into the action, it makes you feel good as you play, and I haven't played the game yet, obviously it's not out yet, but that's just how I feel overall towards the soundtrack. And, um, if you guys are skeptical or worried about um, Casey Edward as like a composer or a um, as a composer for the soundtrack of the game itself, hold on, let me um, let me pause you and do this. If you guys want, I'll leave in the description down below where you can find all of his other works. We're not gonna play every single song that this guy's made, but there is a website where you can pretty much see all of the different projects that he's worked on and all the different musics that he's done. And I've listened to a couple of them and they're not they're not bad for what they are. You know, they're pretty good and entertaining songs. So like, if anything, I'm excited to see what he will come up with when it comes to Devil May Cry. And now it's just mostly anticipation. Like, I can't wait to see what this guy has to offer for the Devil May Cry franchise. Like, for the most part... For Devil May Cry 1, 2, 3, and 4, like, I, I loved all the soundtracks for them. Even the even the reboot. Even Combi Cry's doing their take on the Devil May Cry soundtrack. Their own take on the Devil May Cry soundtrack was pretty good to me. So I can't wait to see what Casey Edwards have to, um, Casey Edwards have to offer to the franchise. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So for everybody that's writing off the soundtrack, everybody's saying the soundtrack is probably going to be bad because I don't like this one song. Trust me, trust me, like, give it, give it time. I'm not saying throw away your skepticism, like, don't do that. Like, always be skeptical because you never know. Um, but at this point, I'll just say maybe keep your expectations not too high or not too low. Kind of keep it in that right gray area-ish, that middle spot. Because, like, again, if you have your expectations too high, they don't deliver, you're going to be disappointed. And you know, you never know, like, maybe if you have your expectations, like, around that maybe middle area and then you hear the soundtrack you you might actually like it you might actually enjoy what um what they offered in the game 
but yeah those are like just my couple of cents like again this is not really a big topic and this topic is 100 percent subjective music is music you know like <laughs> some people like certain types of music other people don't like certain types of music that's pretty much how music works right like there's genres for some there's not genres for everybody so it's not very a big topic that i guess i it really it's not really a big topic that really needs a video but at the same time i've seen people talk about it enough and i've done the research for my boy casey here and i think he does good work and i want to see what he's able to do i want to see him do great things in devil may cry but um yeah that's pretty much all i have for this video i'd like to thank everybody for watching i appreciate you checking out the video and i'll catch you for the next one later